Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about my Chipotle cashback stacking strategy. And so if you're watching the video on its day of release, you know that today is Cinco de Mayo. And if you like Mexican food of any type, maybe you like Chipotle as well. So I decided to drop my Chipotle cashback stacking strategy today. Now, this is a strategy that you can use any day of the year. So you can make every day Cinco de Mayo by getting upwards of 7% cash back on every purchase that you make at Chipotle. And so just like any cashback stacking strategy, if you've watched any of my previous videos, the first level of the cashback stacking strategy is a cashback credit card. Now, the specific cashback card that I use is the Costco City card. And with this cashback card, you earn 3% cashback whenever you make a purchase at a restaurant. And so since Chipotle is a restaurant, I get 3% cashback on all of my purchases at Chipotle. And so at a bare minimum, if you have a cashback credit card, you're probably getting at least 1% and you could be getting 3% or maybe even higher, depending on if the specific credit card that you use has a specific boost for the restaurant category. But even if you don't have a credit card that gives you a specific boost within the restaurant category, one card that you may want to try out is the City Double Cash Card because you can get 2% cash back on all of your purchases, no matter what specific category it's in. And so while there are many different credit cards that you can choose from out there, these are the specific cards that I personally use. And so if you have a credit card that gets you more than 3% cash back whenever you shop at a restaurant, please let us know in the comments below. All right, so the second level of this cashback stacking strategy now goes into using cashback apps. And the first cashback app that I'm gonna talk about is the Pay app. Now Pay, P-E-I, the Pay app, you can receive cashback at many different stores, including Chipotle. And all of the cashback that you earn within this app is automated. So all you need to do is connect the cashback credit card that you use in level one. You add it to the Pay app. So whenever you shop at any store that Pay has partnered with where you can earn cashback, you don't even have to think about it. All you need to do is use that credit card and you will receive a notification within the Pay app to let you know that you've earned cashback at that store. But the great thing about the Pay app, as I mentioned, is that everything is automated. There's nothing you need to do once you go into Chipotle, as long as you use that cashback credit card, the Pay app will recognize that your card was used at Chipotle. And then once it recognizes that, you'll get your points or your cashback loaded into the app. And one of the great things about the Pay app is that you can actually cash out your cashback into Bitcoin. And so if you want to earn free Bitcoin just by doing the normal shopping that you would regularly do, you can use that cashback and cash it out as Bitcoin. And another great feature that they have with their Bitcoin wallet is that you can actually keep that Bitcoin in your wallet within the Pay app and you can earn interest on it. And so if you've seen one of my recent videos, I talk about the app called BlockFi, where you can actually earn interest on your cryptocurrency. This is a very similar feature, except the only option you have is Bitcoin, and it's based on the cashback that you earn from your purchases. And so if you've never used the Pay app, I have a link provided in the description below so that you can use my referral link and you can get signed up with the Pay app today. That way you can get this second level of this cashback stacking strategy. Next is the third level of this cashback stacking strategy, and that is the Slide app. Now with the Slide app, every store that is available within the Slide app, which includes Chipotle, you earn 4% cash back whenever you make a purchase at those stores. Now the difference between the Slide app versus the Pay app, which is an automated cashback app, with the Slide app, you actually have to open up the Slide app before you make your purchase at any given store. And what you would do is you select Chipotle in this instance, and once you know the total that you're gonna be spending at Chipotle, what you do is you buy a gift card within the Slide app, and then you use that gift card to make your payment at Chipotle. And so you can do this either while you're in line, if you're going to personally buy at Chipotle, you can do it with the Chipotle app. So if you wanted to order ahead and pick up or order for delivery, you would basically just buy that gift card. You enter the gift card code into the Chipotle app, and then you use that gift card code to pay for whatever you were buying that day. And so typically with apps where you have to buy a gift card in order to earn your cash back, usually the credit card doesn't recognize that you've shopped at a particular store, but I have noticed with slide that it will still show up as Chipotle on your credit card transaction. And this allows the other cashback apps like pay to still recognize that you made a purchase at Chipotle. 
And so this has worked for me with Chipotle specifically, but you may want to double check with any other stores to make sure that after you do make that gift card purchase within the Slide app, that it actually shows as whatever store you bought the item from, in this instance, Chipotle on your actual credit card statement, because that's going to determine whether or not apps like the Pay app will recognize that you made a purchase at Chipotle. And so now the fourth level of this cashback stacking strategy is using the Bumped app. Now with the Bumped app, this is an automated cash cashback app, but the difference between the Bumped app and the Pay app is that the cashback that you earn is used to purchase stock. And so within the Bumped app, there are different categories of products that you can make purchases with. And within each category, you have to select one specific store. And so within the Quick Eats category of the Bumped app, you can choose Chipotle and there are other restaurant options to choose. Out of the options within the app, Chipotle is the restaurant that I shop at the most. And so I have that selected at all times. You can't switch back and forth on a daily basis. I believe it's once every 90 days you can actually change whatever store you have selected. And so if Chipotle is not the store for you, then you're probably not watching this video anyway. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you eat Chipotle very often, or you really like watching my videos and you're part of the Mobile Money Nation. So thank you for subscribing and watching this video, even if Chipotle isn't your favorite restaurant. But if Chipotle is the restaurant that you would like to shop at, make that selection within the Bump app so that every time you shop at Chipotle, you receive 1% cash back, and then that cash back is used to purchase actual stock into Chipotle. And so Chipotle is a publicly traded company. Their ticker symbol is CMG. And so any cashback that you earn would then purchase CMG stock, which means that every time that you purchase stock, your actual cash back now has the opportunity to grow over a long term. And so over the past year, Chipotle stock has grown over 69%. And just counting the first four months of 2021, Chipotle stock is up 8%. And so that means the purchases that I've made over the past year or two, where I've actually bought Chipotle and I received cash back, which was then used to purchase stock within Chipotle, that has grown above 69% for any stock that I own over the past year. And any stock that I've owned throughout the course of 2021, it has grown 8%. And so this is a really cool way to not only earn cash back by using the Bumped app, but that cash is now growing within the stock market because you're purchasing stock within Chipotle or with any other stores that are connected within the app. And so if you're not familiar with the Bumped app, I do have a review, which you can check out later. And I also have a referral link, which will be provided in the description below. And so the next app that I'm gonna talk about is actually a bonus. We'll call this a level five for this cashback stacking strategy, but technically you're not earning cash back with this app. And so the app that I'm gonna talk about as a bonus for this stacking strategy is the Griffin app. Now with the Griffin app, instead of earning cash back, whenever you make a purchase at particular stores, when Griffin recognizes it on your credit card transaction, what it will do is actually take $1 out of your checking account and use that dollar to purchase fractional shares of the specific company that you shopped with. And so unlike the Bumped app, where you're also receiving fractional shares of stock in Chipotle, you're actually receiving free cash because you're getting a cash back bonus on your purchase. But in the case of the Griffin app, they're gonna take a dollar out of your account and then use that dollar to purchase fractional shares of Chipotle stock. And so if you're a person that eats at Chipotle very often, let's say you eat at Chipotle five times per week, that means each week that Griffin is gonna take $5 out of your checking account and use that $5 to actually invest in the company that you're spending your money at on a regular basis anyway. And so if you and many other people are that loyal to Chipotle, that you're buying Chipotle almost every day, that means their stock is probably gonna do pretty well as well. And then you can actually benefit from the growth of Chipotle that you're helping make happen by shopping at Chipotle on a regular basis. And so this not only works with Chipotle within the Griffin app, there are many other publicly traded stores that you may shop at where you can actually put a dollar towards that company to actually buy their stock. And so I started using the Griffin app back in August of 2020 and just between August of 2020 and now May of 2021, I already have over $200 
worth of stock that I'm invested in within the app. Now that's $200, that's partially just the money that I deposited and any additional growth from the stock market itself for the individual companies that I've invested in. And within the app, I've invested in over 25 different companies. So at least 25 of the companies that I shop at on a regular basis between August of 2020 and May of 2021, at least 25 of those companies were actually publicly traded companies. And so if there is a transaction that you have on your credit card, Card, and it's not with a company that is publicly traded, what they do is they just deposit $1. They still take $1 out of your checking account, but it is just deposited as cash with the account. So you basically have another savings account within Griffin as well for the companies that aren't actually publicly traded when they're taking that dollar out. And so while you aren't earning cash back with this specific app, it is great to still get invested if you're interested in investing. This is a great way to automatically invest in the companies that you shop with and that you're probably making hundreds if not thousands of dollars per year just by shopping with them. And so you can take in some of that growth yourself by buying stock into the companies that you already shop with. And so even if you take away this bonus where you're not actually earning cash back, you're actually using your own cash, to get the benefit of the Griffin app. With the other four levels of this cashback stacking strategy, you should be able to earn at least 7%. I personally earn 9% cashback with this strategy. I get 3% cashback with my cashback credit card. I get 1% with the pay app. I get 4% cashback using the slide app. And then I get another 1% in stock back by using the bumped app. And so with all of the apps that I've mentioned in this video, I have a referral link down below, which you can use. It is provided in the description. If you have any questions about those apps, feel free to put those questions in the comments below. If you've never heard of any of these apps, let us know that in the comments as well. Also, if there's any specific credit card that you use where you can get 3% or higher cash back, even if you don't get higher, please let everyone else know in the comments below so that we can get an idea of the best credit cards we can use for cash back for restaurants or Chipotle specifically. And we'd really appreciate you sharing that information as well. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.